Hi, my name is Mark Minson. I'm with Mathnasium in Draper, Utah, and today we're going to talk about subtracting decimals when the bottom number is bigger than the top number. So I am going to have 75.16, and I'm going to subtract 18.5. Eight. As you can see, almost every one of these numbers is larger than the one above it. What do we do? Well, first of all, we've got to remember about our place value. Here we have tens, here we have ones, here we have tenths, and here we have one hundredths. And each one of these is worth ten times more than the one to its left. So, we have eight tenths and six tenths. Since we can't subtract 8 from 6, we're going to have to borrow from our tenths. And when we do that, we cross out our number and that becomes a 0 when we subtract 1. And then we're able to grab 1 tenth plus 6 one hundredths, which gives us 16 one hundredths. And 8 from 16 is 8. Now we want to subtract 5 from the next number, but it's a 0. So again, we're going to have to borrow or regroup. We take our, f our 1's, which is worth 10 tenths. We're going to change that to a 4 because we just borrowed one whole, and we take that and add it to our 0, giving it 10 tenths. We subtract 5 tenths from 10 tenths, which gives us 5 tenths. Don't forget to put down your decimal. Now we're subtracting 8 from 4. Again, it's too much. We're going to take our 7 tens. We're going to make that into 6 tens. We're going to borrow 1 ten, add it to 4, which is going to be 14. 8 from 14 is 6. And finally, we're going to subtract 1 from 6. We don't need to borrow. 1 from 6 is 5. And our answer to 75.16 minus 18.58 is 56.58. We borrowed from each greater place value in order to add another uh, 10 to the number beside it. Thanks for watching. This has been Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, Utah.